Well, hello everybody, and thank you for taking a moment to checking out my Fisher Online Guide series number eight. And today we're going to cover making your attractants, which is really fun. So I'm going to go into my hotkey I, and I'm going to open up my attractants, and you'll see that I've got some carp honey and tension crucian and bream and all of these as well as the dry doughs. Now like the doughs we can make our own little baits and here's some examples of a combination I made like a bleak and a blood worm. So we have a, a combination and the nice thing about these attractants guys we can share and give them to other players. So especially if someone's out in the middle of nowhere and can't go back and ran out of stuff or you can send them something in their mail or helping out new players maybe you know, giving them them bites and giving them a good start and a good feel for the game. You know, come on, let's check it out, right? So, uh, quite common, uh, we are looking at, when you go to the sturgeon, it also gives you a little description, right? Proving the biting of the sturgeon species. Or you can go to the bleak and it says small whitefish, bleak, saberfish, shamai, and other species. So could it maybe include gungeon and things like that? So... Uh, breams will be the breams. Now universal now is uh, basically what it is, universal. And you can mix up to a couple of things. So we're just quickly going to go through the schematic. And uh, quite often I'm doing like uh, carps and honey. So, But today I want to do, uh, uh, let's see, let's, let's pick a tension crucian, okay? So we're going to use that. And you click once on it. You open it up. And now you've got the option to put a dip in there. And you don't have to put a dip. But you can definitely put a dip in there. So uh, the crucians like, might like caramel or garlic or hemp or sunflower, mint. Uh, I'd probably go with maybe caramel or, or sunflower. So, uh, you know, as an example, of course, the carps will probably like it because it's crucians, right? So I don't know. Let's let's put a caramel in there. Why not? Then now you see that to add the dip flavor, we got the aromatic symbol here. You just click on the water, and now you see we got the next stage. And now we're going to add in. Now we have the caramel mixed with the mix. We click it again, and we're blending it. And now this is where the option, guys. You can stop here, click that, roll down, and or hmm. You do have a selection to mix some baits in there. So you are going for crucian, right? So you can add blood, maybe grain, uh, corn, or pearl barley, or worm. And the worm is actually quite nice because it's a universal bait for many kinds of fish. Well, you know, it's kind of nice. And the pearl barley, well, it could be used middle-sized carp fish. It's kind of carp fish. Well, we are looking in crucian, so the pearl barleys might work. Or you can put a blood worm in there, which is pretty much a universal bait in the game, too, which pretty much catches everything, right? Or you can go into maggots or corn peas. Uh, I even like this. We got this lovely nut bread. And it's weird that some kind of fish find this attractive. You know what? Let's put a nut bread on that. I bet this is going to be hilarious for attention crucial. We click on that. And then we see that our ball mixture is here. We hit it. And bam. They're going to always give you 10 pieces, guys. And then when we get to the 10 pieces, we can look back and say, Oh, I got caramel and nut. And then here, here's the mix. And we can actually give it to somebody as a gift or a present and or just plain use it or help out other players. So, and experiment. So at least we're able to add at least, you know, this, you can mix it without, mix it with one, mix it with two. Really, really helpful, guys. It's, it's absolutely excellent. Now, also, we've got uh, the pre-made attractants, which as far as I know, at this point, we cannot mix like the lucky fishing and silver carp and the sea mullet and stuff like that they're already pre-set so but you can mix any of the doughs and as well as you can uh, as we did in like was video number six and guide six we did about the dry doughs and gave an example so and the fact you make these doughs you can give these to other players as well so you can make a combination flavor of these plus these i mean we're starting to have a pretty nice concept of what can happen out there so anyhow i hope this helps you guys uh like, you know we can do one more time like krill for instance uh good for catching sea fish right so let's say let, let, let's let's make a krill so here we can put on uh this if i'm going to make sea fish i'm most likely going to go with the kipper 
uh, you know, for for the smell, right? I don't think anything else. So let's let's go to the kipper. We're gonna add water. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We just keep clicking it on like that. Then we go back to the baits and go. Hmm, what are we going to put for the sea? You know what? Well, I'm stuck between the blood. I think the blood might work, especially for some of like the Dorados or squids or something. So, um, yeah, let's put in some blood, right? And then bam, and then boom. The next thing you know, you've got your ground bait pieces. We go back to our inventory. And now we've got the kipper blood, and we've got 13 of them now. So I had three previously. So as example, you can put a whole quite different mixture of fun mixing these baits. So I hope this guide was very helpful and also I am recruiting for our um, uh, recruiting for our uh, fishing club as well so uh, for those who are in game or after you see this advice look us up and as well I do stream seven days a week I do have my YouTube channel and uh, have lots of fun entertainment we have also discord and other things so I hope you come and join us and uh, Enjoy it. If you have any questions, please, guys, put a comment, like below, or come into the Twitch. Watch me, talk to me in chat, ask me questions. If I can help, I certainly will. And if I don't know, we'll find the answers. Usually, some viewers there to help us, and or vice versa. So, uh, anyhow, we're going to make video number nine, which will probably be based on the feeder rods next to how you guys don't break them, okay? And other things like that. And there are some questions about uh, putting different combos there. So we're in the next video. We're going to be looking at the feeder rods. All right. So anyhow, catch you around, guys. Take care, buddy.